number seven getting underway on the prestigious Stand and Bang, the final edition of this fast becoming legendary show that is hosted by none other than promoter extraordinaire Kyle Greaves. Uh, these two guys fight 87 kilos. They're going to be fighting five rounds over one and a half minutes apiece. Uh, the first is Don the Dinosaur Weatherall in the black trunks, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Munkondam Jim. This is actually his first uh, professional fight outside of, of Novice Bouts. Oh, and it looks like he has uh, his opponent, George Noble, in a spot of bother there. Oh! Sensing blood. Don Weatherall is jumping in, trying to finish this fight off nice and early. George Noble, this is only his second fight. Uh, his first fight, most notably, was on the very first edition of Stand and Bang. I'm not sure if he's going to see a lot more of this show, judging by judging by the shots that he's just taken, but he's hanging on here quite literally for dear life. All right. This fight is nothing and not entertaining and action-packed early on here. These guys both exchanging big punches, but... Noble is on the receiving end, a few heavy shots there. He's still standing. Oh, and he's gone down again. Don Weatherall looking pumped. Coming to the closest seconds of this hot first round. Wants to be careful he doesn't punch himself out though. Oh, and he's landed another couple of sweet shots. And that almost feels a little same minor bell. Action from start to finish. All right, second round now, just getting underway. Uh, interesting to see if this round is as explosive as the first one. It looks like these guys are setting off that way. Getting blue trunks, we've got George Noble fighting out of the red corner and representing St. Albans tie. His opponent in the black trunks, Don the Dinosaur Weatherall, who's been an absolute force from the start of this fight. I'd like to see those hands a little bit higher from Noble. I say, some of those really dangerous looking shots have just peeled over the top there from the relatively inexperienced uh, fire. But nonetheless, good practice to get into from the word dot. You know, keeping those hands nice and high when you're in danger zone. And Noble seems to have uh, recomposed himself quite well here. Dur look, he looks quite durable here. Some blood coming from the nose, some damage there to the nose. Again, I'd just like to see those hands a bit high. He's getting a little bit sloppy, getting a little bit careless, leaving them low. Ooh, look, a bit of a low show. Noble looking like it was going to gesture that that was a, a groin shot, but just maybe it was, and he's just pressing on. Tough lad. Oh, nice, solid shots there landing from both of these two guys. A bit sloppy and a bit wild, but the ones that are landing... Hey, there we go. George Noble replying with a catch and another kick and a takedown of his own. These guys seem to be just... Evening things out a little bit more now. Nice body kick there from Weatherall. Both these guys settling now, nerve settling into the fight. Yeah. Round three, it's getting underway. These guys waste no time at all. Closing down, coming right into the center of the ring and just teeing off. Big heavy shots being thrown by both of these guys. Looking like either one of them could end it if one of them landed cleanly. Bit sloppy, a bit careless with the guards, and but you know, to be fair to them, they're putting on a show. That's what these guys have paid their hard-earned money to come and watch. Two guys have a scrap, equally matched. These guys look really, really well matched. Just looking for a big explosive finish. Lots of action. <laughs> Noble there, a bit hit and hope, not quite finding the mark. Weatherall tying him up. Noble looks like he's trying to push him off so he can just start throwing those punches again. That's where he looks happiest. Oh, yeah, those hands really need to come up. Noble really dropping them. Weatherall finds a couple of decent shots. It could be all, all sorts of trouble again. I think Weatherall starting to slow down a little bit now, feeling the effects of the fight. The fatigue starting to kick in. Just looking much sloppier now than punches. Just look like the, the, the tired, looking a bit tired, looking a, just a tiny bit slower. And now, now Noble is the one pushing the pace, coming forward. And Noble looks like the stronger of the two in this round. Claps are sounding. Noble looks tired. Both of these guys look tired. Noble's mouth is wide open as he's gasping for air. His guard's really low. Can Weatherall land one of those dangerous looking shots? I'm not sure, but a nice strong finish there by Noble. 
right cross landing just as the bell went. That for me was Noble's best round. <laughs> round four, let the carnage ensue. Oh, strong looking shot there from Noble. Looked like it wore a Weatherall. Is he going to go in looking for the finish, seeking blood? I don't know if it did enough damage to stop him, so he wants to be careful he doesn't gas himself out here. Oh, now Weatherall starting to tear off with a few shots of his own. Bye for the old. <laughs> right there, just landing on the jaw of Noble. I'm not sure if it had quite enough in it. Both of these guys looking shaky. Both of these guys looking tired. They just threw everything they had in that 20 second exchange. And Noble could be in trouble here. The gas tank could have been expended a little bit prematurely. Both of these guys just hitting and hoping. They're operating on autopilot. Oh, that knee could have done some damage. I'm not sure. Weatherall's backed up now. Yeah, those knees could certainly be taken out of Weatherall. Ah, nice turn there from uh, the dinosaur. These guys taking their time to get back up. Exhaustion looks like it's setting in. Yeah, these shots don't have anywhere near the danger that they had early on. They're just exchanging punches. Both of these warriors just going toe to toe, matching each other all the way. Great work by both of these guys. <laughs> Cracking stuff. These guys, if nothing else, you cannot say that they haven't left it all in there. And final round getting underway of this epic battle from these two giants. These guys have had a real back and forth roller coaster ride. It's a really difficult one to call. Early on, I would have said it would have been Weatherall. And then to me, Noble has done a fantastic job closing the gap in these last couple of rounds. But has he done enough? This is the question. And it's going to be a difficult decision for the judges if it goes the, all the distance. These guys just tied up, hanging on, just trying to land these. Referee going to separate them, not enough going on. Weatherall literally looks like he has George Noble just like hanging off his neck. Oh, narrow shot there, just missing the head. Noble apologising, it wasn't intentional. Oh, right hook there, landed from Weatherall. Again, not enough power behind it to look like it could stop anyone. I think these guys are just too tired. I think they're just too exhausted to finish one another off at this stage. Steely look at the termination there in the eyes of uh, Noble. The knee making it through to the midsection there of, of whether all we're landing those. But again, not enough sting in the tail of those shots to worry their opponents too much. This is just turning into an endurance fight, just a marathon. Who can trade enough leather? I don't know. At this stage, it's hard to say. It looks like it could be a a draw in terms of what's going on. We've got the klaxon sounding. We've got the final closing seconds. Both of these guys, huge amount of respect for them. They've given it their all. I have no idea which way the judges are going to go. I wouldn't be shocked if that was a draw. It's a difficult one to call. And after five findings and taking rounds of action, the judges have reached a split decision. Oh. In favor of your winner, fighting out of the...